Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm EVM and this is a video that I'm doing on my phone. I don't have the cameras with me. It's kind of come out of nowhere as this one because I'm currently in Clacton-on-Sea at the brand new Morrison store. And I should point out this isn't sponsored or anything. In fact, I haven't even asked them permission to film. It's probably easier to ask forgiveness than permission, isn't it? But I'll do that later. Anyway, I'm here because obviously I'm charging and this is brand new. It's made my life phenomenally easier coming to Clacton-on-Sea where my parents live because before this we had one fast charger. But it's, it's the nature and the design of this destination hub, I think I'd call it, that has impressed me the most to the point where I thought, I want to do a video about this. This deserves, a bit of, of, you know, it deserves plaudits. It's almost a blueprint as to what other supermarkets and destinations of this size anyway should be doing. So let me show you around it. But first, just before the intro, I'm going to show you the coolest part of it. And it's this, simple things in life. You can just see there, and again, apologies for the light levels. It's got the petrol station sort of sign telling you how much the charging is. It's 45p for rapid and uh, 39 for fast charging. A sign telling us how much fuel costs. Wow! Who'd have thought that would be a thing? So again, it's normalizing electric vehicles. And as I said, I've got to show you around this because I am truly impressed. In fact, I put this on my Twitter feed when I first saw it, and it's by far the most popular tweet in terms of likes and retweets. I've had by threefold. I mean, it really did blow up because everyone else went, that's brilliant. So I thought, well, let's show everybody on the channel it as well. And hopefully other supermarkets will see this and do something about theirs, at least when they, you know, redo their store or build a new one, because I do appreciate it's not simple and these will have been mega expan expensive, should I say. And I think these are the first in the UK of this type. Doesn't really matter what they are. Let me show you around it and why I think it's so impressive. Right, let me show you around this. Pitch black, so again, apologies for that. Right, we have here AC charging. So you've got the fast chargers, if you will. But they have 22 and seven kilowatts. So there are four 22 kilowatt chargers and four seven kilowatt chargers. So as this is a supermarket, if you're spending hours here, which I guess some people do, you can eat, um, then you've got the appropriate charging for the site. And they've got two disabled charging bays. So you have to be disabled and charging to park in them spots. Uh, further up, we have six rapid chargers, and these are staggered. We have two 75 kilowatt chargers, two 150 kilowatt chargers, and two 300 kilowatt chargers. And it says it on the side there. So you've got 150s. And if we go further back, you've got the 300s as well. They have both Chadmo and CCS. So. I can't think of a single electric vehicle that cannot charge here. You've got AC, 7 and 22. You've got DC all the way up to 300, 800 volt with Chad and and CCS. So the thought of everything. They've also got the uh, sign, as I said, as you come in near the roundabout. In fact, I'll picture it here. And you've also got the one just up in the car park itself. So it's as normal as it should be fueling a petrol car. And that's why... I'm really impressed with it. My car can only charge up to 140 odd, I think it is. So I use the 150 charger and it gave me 138 kilowatts out of it. No preheating either, even though it is mild. Uh, so these chargers do seem good. It uses contactless payment, nice and easy, straightforward. Now, a few people when I put it on the Twitter feed said, well, hang on a minute. Um, why didn't they just put six 300s? Well, mainly as far as I understand it, it's due to capacity. If you look at two 300s, two 150s and two 75s, that's near enough 1,000 kilowatts combined capacity. So I would prefer six of these staggered speed chargers rather than just three 300s, for example. So six of those, four 22s and four 7s. So again, you've got all the, the possibilities and that's the problem with some destination charging. IKEA, for example, they have two rapid chargers at most IKEAs. And I don't know about you, but how many people can spend under 30, 40 minutes going to IKEA? It's a stupid charger or a charge speed to have at somewhere you spend hours at. 
they'd be better with seven or 22 AC chargers, lots of them, because again, you're spending hours there. What happens at Ikea is that you end up charging, half an hour later your car's finished, say, and then someone else comes along and goes, well, this guy's finished charging, he's still blocking it. But you're halfway around Ikea trying to get out. So again, it's got to be appropriate for the destination. Grid serve and whatnot, which is very impressive, that's an onward charge, that's like a motorway service area. It's onward charging. This is a destination and it's utterly key for anybody who cannot charge at home. Everyone comes to a supermarket, so if you can charge everywhere you visit and you can't charge at home, then it will be relatively easy for you to own one. These are, again, key to this whole thing working for mass EV adoption to be a thing. It's a fantastic template for other EV sites. And that's why I like it so much. They've literally catered for everyone. Even, like I said, disabled charging bays. Uh, contactless. It's cheap. 45 and 39p. So 45 for rapid, 39 for uh, fast. That's cheaper than the price cap will be in October. So it may go up, granted. It was the only thing I would say that I didn't like is that you can just press the stop button and stop anybody charging. Seems a bit strange. You don't have to put your contactless payment on or anything like that um, to... to authenticate yourself but other than that i have to congratulate morrison's there's even something like 1100 solar panels on the roof of the new store so again they put some thought into it right uh well it's a short one this week because as you can probably tell i'm on holiday and again apologies for the fact that i'm using my phone but i didn't bring my camera equipment with me yeah let me know what you think in the comments do you think this is how it should be for everybody is there anything missing again to cater for every single EV, even plug-in hybrids. So, brilliant. Hopefully, this is how it will be from now on. Granted, you're gonna need a full for, uh, store refurbishment, or in this case, a complete rebuild before it'll happen. I think they're sick of waiting now, so I better get back. They've been playing the game in the Tesla. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you soon.